My night crew was a mess, and they were just straight ass. They needed more help than an old lost lady with dementia, and who better than to help them than, you know, their own burger god. Yeah, I'm a little bit arrogant, but there was one problem. They hated me. I laid my dick down hard, and they declared war on me. I guess when you start swinging that shit around, people automatically just start hating you. What's up YouTube, it's Teddy, and today I'm gonna be telling you guys about the time my night crew, those little dirty scoundrels, declared war on me. After the show, we will finally be sending ground troops into Canada. So let's strategize. Map! I was just helping them, and they hated me the whole time. But, I mean, I was close with like six of them, maybe? So I didn't hate them all. But without further ado, let's jump into why my night crew decided to pirate to the Caribbean. They're one and only fucking burger god. So our night crew were mainly tater tots working, and those little bastards would call out a lot. I can uh, call in sick tomorrow. Well, this one month, they had more call outs than usual and they needed some help. Yolanda would always like to ask me and me being the nice person, I had to be the nice responsible one and help them. But when I would stay and help them, I would always end up yelling at them for either putting things up so they didn't have to clean more during their closing or just not making something to put on their sandwich because, oh, I wanted to be extra lazy today. You've got the nerve to tell me that some of them are fine. Wish Washy, washy, not even seasoned. And Let me have someone tell me, oh, I didn't want to make something on your burger because I just didn't want to cook it. Yeah, I'd be throwing hands if someone told me that shit. And quick guys, drop down and hit that like button. And be sure to smash that subscribe or the next burger you order will be missing the meat. Yep, all bun, no burger. So be sure to hit that bell so you know when the next story comes out too. So I remember this one time they took all the trash cans and closed a section of the board off. They put all the ingredients up like we weren't really gonna need it. I was doing my thing, I had my routine, and I go to throw something out. Oh, lo and behold, there's no trash can there. Why the fuck is there no trash can there? I look around instantly and see everyone starting to clean up the kitchen. I want this place looking like Disney on ice in one minute. Why? It is 7 o'clock in the afternoon, or I guess evening, and you guys are already closing. You guys don't close down your dining room until 10, and you guys are still open until midnight. I turn to one of the kids, and I'm like, yeah, I want my trash can back. You're gonna work like Amy's here while I'm here. This boy really looked at the manager like this manager was really gonna do something, and she walked away. She wasn't gonna do anything. Now remember guys, I'm on a serious power trip at this point. And that, and that was just the start of it because they wouldn't cook things and hand it out. Okay, you're missing shit. Why are you handing it out? And much like 6 9 oh yeah, I fucking ratted them all out. How are you gonna give me my order and not put one of the main ingredients on it and expect me not to say something? Bro, now you're just being a narc. Damn fucking straight. I'm gonna be a narc out the goddamn ass. You know what you gotta do. What you want me to do, snitch him? Comment down below if you had went to go make an order and this restaurant's crew just decided, oh yeah, I'm not gonna cook something and tell you you can't order it. So no one likes a crew member acting as a manager, but you all know I was allowed to. Amy said nothing, Amy let me, but it's still pretty bad that my power trips were under Amy's. I mean, they weren't right there, but they were fucking close. And with that being said, why did they decide to go ahead and attack me? They were like, like fucking Japan and they went ahead and attacked America. I was content with telling them how to work. I was content with making sure they worked the way that they were supposed to and they wanted to go ahead, grab their cannons, get their banners made and declare war on me. Their fucking burger god, I was their lord and savior. This is how you're really gonna do me? Okay, game on bitches. Then there was this one night. They waited for me to get done work and start making my cup of coffee. Somewhere between me grabbing my coat and going and grabbing this cup, they went ahead and poured pepper in my coffee and I didn't know this until I got home and went to go drink it and noticed I'm tasting pepper. These little tater thoughts really thought that I wasn't gonna come back in and raise some hell so here I come driving all the way the fuck back just to you know say something about this cup of coffee. As soon as I come back in the girl that handed me my cup of coffee is like hey can I help you? No you can't help me. 
but you can go get Sally. Sally can help me. Oh, really? You gonna do, just do me like that? I don't know if she was new or not, but she looked really fucking confused. So I was like, either you go get Sally or I'm gonna walk back there and I'm gonna get Sally myself. <laughs> so I was lucky enough that I took a picture. So here you guys go. This, this is the shit that I had to deal with until I eventually walked out. But I show Sally this cup and I'm like, yeah, now me and your crew have a problem. And then I look at the girl and I'm like, yeah, see, this is exactly why me and your crew are now going to have problems after this. Hey, I'm really sorry too. Sure enough, yeah, I gave them fucking problems. I was gonna be nice to them until they wanted to go ahead and attack me first, but hey, this is exactly what happens. Six people versus one. You guys really gonna think it's gonna affect me? So now every time Yolanda would go ahead and ask me, hey, can you cover for this person? Can you come in and help? Oh, gee, I'm so sorry. Your crew hates me and they don't want me working with you guys. The whole difference between one guy holding down the kitchen while your whole crew goes on break and everyone suffering the whole night. So the moral of the story, guys, don't try to pick a war that you guys know you can't win. If you know you can't compete, please don't try. It's embarrassing and you make everyone look bad. But it's okay, guys. I watched each and every one of them either get fired or quit that month or the month after that. So who really won here?